Hi, we're in Samburu, northern Kenya, and are en route to visit a Samburu village. But once again, we are delayed, having to change a damaged wheel on our safari vehicle. Are you any good at changing wheels? And here we have two native dancing girls in, in their traditional dress. <laughs> and uh, I think this is the early morning plumage. <laughs> Graceful, beautiful, and elegant. Fantastic. Samburi maidens dressed in all their traditional finery. The Samburu are semi nomadic pastoralists, and even today they live a traditional way of life. They herd mainly cattle, but keep sheep, goats and camels. Samburu women have little status. They don't own property and are excluded from community meetings. The power in a Samburu community rests with the elder men. This power of the elders is linked to the belief in their ability to curse, underpinning their monopoly over arranged marriages and taking further wives. Singing, dancing and music are important elements of their culture. After a traditional circumcision ceremony, a Samburu boy enters the age of Moran, a Maasai word meaning warrior. Samburu girls are also circumcised, a rite that signifies the transition from girl to woman. Due to the efforts of the Kenyan government and other agencies, there's been a remarkable reduction in female circumcision and child marriages. Crossing the crocodile infested river is dangerous and calls for knowledge and caution. The herd matriarch takes the lead. Sensing danger, she spots a crocodile in ambush, lying camouflaged near the riverbank. Facing off the crocodile, she protects the calf from ambush.
aware of the danger and reassured by the matriarch, the herd wades across the river. The younger elephant stops, sensing danger. A gentle push by the older, more experienced elephant overcomes its fear. The Iwaso Nagario River has a large population of dangerous, cunning Nile crocodiles. A herd of impala grazing on the riverbank. Two crocodiles lie in ambush waiting for the impala to drink. The male impala senses danger. A third crocodile leaves the river. The impala are spooked and escape. Oh, there's two. Samburu lion. Lions are the most sociable of all the big cats. A large pride, chilling out and having fun. And again, can you? He's just on the other. He's gonna jump. Come on, jump. The pride consists of related females whom have strong bonds and feed and look after one another's cubs. Play is so much more than just having fun. It helps the lion cubs develop and grow by running, climbing, and wrestling. They practice their motor skills and develop physical strength and coordination. Play also enriches their minds. Mental stimulation builds big clever brains. Fun's over and it's time to move on to the river and drink. Phalanx of marabou stalks. Marabous are remarkable birds. Having a wingspan of seven to nine feet, they can fly as high as 13,000 feet. Without these beautiful life-giving waters. 
nothing that lives would live. Elephants are highly social and intelligent creatures and they demonstrate behaviours we would recognise as compassion, kindness and altruism. Herds are led by the oldest experienced female, the matriarch. The elephant's trunk is an amazing thing with a muscle count of between 40,000 and 150,000 muscles the trunk of an elephant is amazingly dexterous it's both gentle and strong its trunk is capable of killing a lion caressing a frightened elephant calf. It can pick up objects as small as a coin. Elephant tusks are actually enlarged incisor teeth, which first appear when the elephant is around two years old. <laughs> Tusks are used to help with feeding, prizing bark off trees, or digging up roots, or as a defensive weapon when fighting. An elephant's skin is 2.5 centimeters thick. The folds and wrinkles in their skin retain up to 10 times more water than flat skin, which helps to keep them cool. Sadly, 90% of the African elephants have been wiped out in the past century. 